Here we are with Jesse Vargas, uh, Las Vegas own. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Just here enjoying the uh, the final weigh-in, and and uh, you know, you guys are ready to fight. So we're ready to come in and, and watch the great night of boxing. Now I know you get tired of it, man, but uh, everybody wants to. You know, you called out Pacquiao. You know, you got the win over Demarco, and as a fighter, you want to fight the best, man. So you feel like you, you you want that fight. You need that fight. Of course, you know, we have to prove that we're the best, and the only way to prove it is uh, to fight the best. You know, that's the reason why I want the opportunity, and uh, I promise you to uh, that I will rise to the occasion. Now, uh, I know uh, I was defending you because, like I said, man, you're coming off a performance uh, for Demarco. You know, you got some tough fights, man, and uh, somehow you always grind the way to get the win. You always find the, to get that win. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've been in some tough fights. I've been in some fights that, uh, you know, um, you know, a few undefeated fighters are straight. You know, I had to break the wheel, and and as a matter of fact, speaking of the last fighters that I fought with, you know, I fought three southpaws straight. I fought four Freddy Roaches fighters already. So I've taken out, uh, you know, quite a few fighters. Uh, in, in, that are related to somehow to Manny Pacquiao. So I fought uh, three left-handed fighters uh, in a row, which is unheard of. Right. You know, I fought four of uh, Freddie Roach's fighters, and now I'm going after the first one. Absolutely. Now, uh, you made the switch to uh, Coach Roy Jones. Uh, a lot of that had to do because you didn't want to leave Las Vegas. It wasn't anything to do with bad blood. No, no, not at all. Yeah, I just, I couldn't leave, I couldn't leave Vegas, man. I love Vegas. Get the shirt right. That's right. Gotta get that fish. Val Valentin right there. True right there. Um, now what I was gonna say is, you know, uh, your Vegas. This is your hometown. Um, you kind of doing what Mayweather does, man. You don't you don't want to leave here. You you want to stay uh, fighting in Vegas as much as you can. You I know do, you do I part do, time. I, I do, but even though I, I really enjoyed the experience in Macau, man, it was real nice out there. So between Vegas and, and Macau, I'm open to I would love to fight in either in, in either venue. Absolutely. Now uh, tomorrow you got Bradley uh, versus Chavez, man. How do you see that? matchup. It's going to be a great matchup, man. It's a very uh, interesting fight because uh, Chavez is actually, you can tell he's hungry, you know, you can tell he wants, he wants that victory, he wants to break the losing streak, but I'm not sure it will be enough to, to beat uh, Timothy Bradley because Bradley's just, I think he's a better all-around fighter. You know, he's more technical, he's faster, he has very good movement, head movement and speed and uh, footwork. So we'll see. I think, I think it's going to be too much for, for Chavez, but we'll see. Hey, man, you, fighters like yourself, Bradley, and, uh, you know, yourself, y'all don't get that respect, man, but all y'all do is win, man. Uh, people got to, at some point, they're going to have to come around and realize that you guys got the heart of a champion. Thank you, man. Well, I feel the same way. You know, I feel that if we come to give you a great performance, you know what I mean, that we should earn the, the respect, you know, because we're, we're busting our, uh, our chops, you know, uh, trying to give you great fights, and, and people don't know uh, how much how much sacrifice is behind it and how much work ethic is behind it as well. You know, we, we really bust our, ourselves uh, to give you great performances, and, and I think Thankfully, you know, I feel blessed that I have been able to give you a great performance because it's not easy. You know, it's not easy to keep, keep the fans pleased. Some like me, uh, some, some, some don't like me as much. You know, but uh, at the end of the day, they enjoy Jesse Vargas' fight. So, so that's what matters, and I hope that they continue to uh, enjoy the, the next few fights. No, the next several fights that I have throughout my career. Now, now, do you feel because you're not a loud mouth or because you're not out there bragging or you're not out there making big ruckus, you don't get that, that same uh, respect? That love? I'm not sure, man. Maybe because uh, who knows? I mean, because I get a lot of respect as well, but maybe because I don't talk as much. I don't. I don't. You know, I don't. I'm not the type of guy. You know, maybe because some of these guys make you believe it with their mouth. You know, right, I mean, right. I'm a badass. Mother, you know, I'm a badass <laughs> guy out here. You know, that, yeah. you know, and you believe it. Well, I mean, just choose for yourself. Sometimes turn off the HBO audio and just look at the fights. You know, because just as my friend uh, Robert Garcia said, sometimes you see you see a fight and uh, corner the red corner is not several shots and you hear nothing. Right. The blue corner is landing several shots. No, it's landing very few shots, but even shots are not landing. It's like, wow, wow, wow. Sometimes every now and then, turn off the audio, just look at it yourself and, True. Then, and then be your own judge, you know? It'd be, it'd be cool. Absolutely, man. That's speaking truth right there. And uh, I know you're taking a, a few days off, but uh, have you resumed camp already? I, I started training already, yes. Uh, just working on, on new things and, and 
and was working on shooter, you know, he's, he's, uh, like I said, you know, working on the game plan. So uh, just in case we get that manufactured opportunity, opportunity, we're ready. We have enough time to prepare for it. And we get started already. You know, we have to. We can't slack off. And uh, we're staying in shape. You know, we're staying active. And, uh, now, one, one thing about working with Roy Jones, you got to respect him as a fighter because you've seen him. He was up to the highest level, and that's coming from 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 your from from the heart right there. That's right. I mean, he's, he's one of the best. You know, and he understands me uh, so well, man. It's, 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 uh, it's real nice, man. Um, being in there with Roy, because when you have someone in the corner, you know, it's not just you. You have to come back and know you got to trust your corner. I come back, I already know that I'm going to come back, chill with Roy. He's going to be like, all right, what we got to do? We got to take care of. What, what we got to take care of, and yeah. Any final words? Um, thank you for your support. Tune in to the next one. I appreciate it, champ. Thanks, man. All right, bro.